In response to the enormous pressure from angry voters but unwilling to budge on policy, the Biden White House in recent weeks has taken a cynical PR strategy of simply redefining what a ceasefire means. I wrote about how they're doing this and how the media is helping them get away with it. Yeah. They were like, okay, you guys said ceasefire, so let's redefine what ceasefire means, and then let's push for that instead. <sighs> what? You cannot avoid the interplay of politics within an orthodox religion. The power struggle permeates the training, education, disciplining to the orthodox community. Because of this pressure, the leaders of such a community inevitably much face that ultimate internal question. To succumb to complete opportunism as the price of maintaining the rule or risk sacrificing themselves for the sake of the orthodox ethic. Frank Herbert. Dune. Respectfully, Hassan, you didn't grow up in a cult. I agree with you on most things except religion. It's far more toxic than you portray it as, in my honest opinion. I'm not portraying anything that isn't just the facts, just the truth. Many already know that I am not a religious person myself. I'm not. I grew up in a Muslim country. My family are Muslim. I grew up around actually very uh, uh, seriously conservative Muslim people, as well as the majority of very secular uh, Muslim people. Okay? I do not like arguing against your own, against Chatter's own personal framework due to their own personal trauma. When I tell you that religion has played a very important role in both defending slavery and also in the abolition of slavery, that is just pure historical fact. Do you understand? That's it. Just like we are talking about uh, states that have claimed in the United States of America, to bring it back to uh, U.S. domestic politics and abortion for a second, in the conversation surrounding abortion, evangelical Christianity is the major reason as to why people push for restrictions on who can get this uh, medical care. Okay? It is said to be, uh, it is said to protect religious freedom. It's bullshit. You have plenty of Christians who are defending the right to be able to get an abortion. Hassan is the biggest ego on Twitch. Yes. This is uh, completely relevant to the major point of contention here. Thank you for chiming in. However, Judaism is used as a reason for why the abortion restrictions are actually suppressing the religious faith of Jews in red states currently. You saying something that is subjective is absolutely true. Fuck out of here. What? You wrong on this? They have their bodies and their capacity to do work. There's no room for religious thought if you're interested in what is true. You saying something that is subjective is absolutely true. What are you saying? It is objectively true that religion, Christianity specifically played a role in both the maintenance and preservation of slavery from white supremacists that cited the Bible to say slavery is fine and dandy. And religion also played a very important role in the abolition of slavery. John Brown was a fucking freak as far as like how religious he was. John Brown also was a hero. Your own personal traumas with whatever fucking cult-like existence that you had in your upbringing does not matter when we are talking about how religion is used as a tool. Do you understand? You have to separate your own personal experiences and the trauma that you got from uh, a, a religious fundamentalist upbringing to what I am referencing here. It is so strange 
to bring this point up, it is so American, so selfish to bring this point up while we are talking about the suppression of religion for Palestinian people in the month of Ramadan. Please. Americans have no capacity to see anything beyond their own fucking unique individualist perspectives. Stop centering yourself in this conversation. This has nothing to do with you. Just sit back and try to develop a better framework and develop understanding and empathy for those who do not think like you that are subjected to profound evil. Very frustrating. God damn, dude. Like, imagine seeing people get fucking destroyed for wanting to practice their faith freely, as they have done, as they have every right to, okay? Like, we're having conversations about, like, the Israeli occupying force going into the Al-Aqsa mosque and, like, throwing fucking uh, flashbang grenades into the mosque as people are praying, and you go, well, religion sucks, actually. Okay, so it's good that they're doing that? Is that the point? Is that what you want to... Is that what you want? Other people to think about your framework? You got to rephrase it. Would it be better to throw a flashbang in a church? Yeah, maybe that maybe that's how they'll understand it. It's like it's like looking at fucking what's his face? Dylan Roof and being like, "Well, that was an anti-religious act inherently." You know? You're strawmanning no atheist thinks flashbanging a church is ethical. Shut the fuck up. Bringing it up in this conversation is the most, like, quintessential all lives matter ass fucking take. It's even worse than all lives matter. It's literally, it's, it's literally being like someone saying black lives matter and you turning around and being like, yeah, well, actually, I'm a vegan. And nobody's talking about the slaughter of pigs. What the fuck? How did that come into the fray here? Like, what's going on? Atheists immediately turn up the fucking veganism dial in the way that they fucking talk about these things and just demonstrate their lack of understanding of how people operate and how important religion is for their lives. It was a this was a part this was a big problem in the USSR as well by the way for all the lefty atheists out there. Anyway. I've talked about this before, but people believe shit that is stupid and silly, okay? Shut the fuck up. You have beliefs that are silly. Many people that you love, who you consider to be brilliant, believe that capitalism is the greatest economic organization to have ever existed. Okay, just because you have been able to uh, work it out in your mind and now you think you're above that kind of thinking does not change that reality. And religious commitment is very important to many more people on this planet than not. You will never be able to 
build a solid coalition by advocating for religious suppression. You will never be able to uh, do any form of governance without, uh, while simultaneously trying to advocate for religious suppression. Religi or religious suppression is not the reason why many more people are fucking atheists nowadays, dumbasses. It's not because they debate you debate lorded so successfully. Think about your own upbringing. It's actually the opposite. It's religious fundamentalism that causes people to go, ah, I don't really like this shit. I can speak on it from my own personal experiences, I guess, my own personal journey. So shut the fuck up. You're making it harder for people. If your goal is to get everyone to, to recognize the wrongs of religion or whatever, you're making it so much harder for people to come to that term because you're negatively polarizing them and you're make, by being annoying as fuck. Dumbass little fashy debate pervers. Holy shit. You are such anti-Marxist is boring. It's not personal traumas. Is Marx and Lenin stop saying is American? Lenin says otherwise, motherfucker. First of all, suck my dick. Okay. You saw religion is the opiate of the masses and you ran with it as though you understand. Uh... It, and, and you are also treating these figures as though they are pastors themselves or infallible in any way. Shut up. He's like, bro, I don't believe in religion. That's why I treat Marx like he's Jesus Christ himself. Okay, got it. Thank you, man. Thank you for interpreting his words. <laughs> 